you know, I came as quickly as I could. Is that okay? Rizali, I was at the hospital yesterday to collect my medicine. Were you there? I dropped by yesterday. I saw you chit-chatting with Zara's doctor, Dr. Felix Fong. Yeah, I did talk to him for a short while. I thought you said you didn't know him. I happened to bump into him, I recognised him, and so I introduced myself. Both of you look like you know each other very well. <laughs> he's, he's a friendly guy, Ibu. Is everything okay? Why all the questions? <laughs> I'm just curious. That's all. Hello? Where the hell are you? Let me put my back in the room. And a very good morning to you too, dear. The least you could have done was to update me that you finally decided to discharge yourself so that I wouldn't have to come here and waste my time. I just wanted to catch Yoke before she left for the office. Uh, sir, Ma'am Yoke went to the airport. Did you tell her I was coming home? Yes, sir. Great. I suppose she wanted to just keep my nagging. What was the excuse? She said she's going to Manila to get another gown. She says she wants to get a spare one for the ceremony, just in case. Don't get the rest of my stuff. What's the point of having so many gowns when she's still got no groom? My name is Adina. And my daughter, Zara, she's one of your patients. Ah, Zara! Has she been doing all right? Actually, I'm here not to talk about her. Yesterday, I was here to collect my medicine. And I saw you talking to Zara's husband, Razali. Razali? I don't remember. Yesterday was such a crazy day for me. But you both look like you know each other quite well. I'm sorry. If there's nothing else, please excuse me. Thank you. I just texted you the address. The condo belongs to a friend who's overseas. We can just go to a hotel. Nice one. I told you, Hawk. People will recognize me. I can't risk us being seen together. We can take the lift separately. What did I say? If we're doing this, we play by my rules. I just want to give you the best. Stop right there. I told you nothing more than this can happen between us. I'm never going to fall in love with you. And Maxine can never find out who you are to her. Did we or did we not agree to this? So take it or leave it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Why the face so black? Nothing. Just having problems negotiating a contract. West Streets University. West Streets University. Razali and I have been playing football together for so many years, since uni days. That's it? I asked you to do this industry research on Monday. And after three days, you give me three slides? That's all I could find. How long did you spend on this? Oh, I worked on it here and there. Well, here and there is not good enough for me, Kate. I needed this to be comprehensive. Okay. I'd like you to take another stab at this, please. Send me what you have by the end of the day. Oh, so now I have to redo her stupid research. Damn irritating! I'd like you to take another stab at this, please. And nice on me! This sounds a lot like someone I know. She's got a reputation around here for being demanding. But hey, you can't get to where she is without stepping on some toes, right? 
When I first started working here, back then it was just Shelley Holdings, of course. Ananya was Derek Shelley's EA. We used to butt heads all the time. Ibu? Ibu, next time just tell me in advance, okay? I can block the whole day for you. We don't need to go back and forth and meet here. Why did you lie? You and Dr. Fong have known each other for so many years. You even play football together. You would let me explain, okay? There's a reason why I didn't tell you that I know him. What? Ivo, he's a really good doctor and I trust him. And seeing how negative Sarah feels towards me right now, I don't want to affect her impressions of the treatment. Nonsense. Ivo, I'm really sorry. I just wanted Sarah to get the best care possible and with Felix, I know she will. One more thing. Natasha said you made fake dating profiles of her? Ibu, she's crazy. Why would I do something like that? Let me see your phone. Ibu, is this really necessary? I see. You have the app? Singles near you. Ibu, give me back my phone. Good afternoon, Natasha Chia. Click here to edit your profile. Ibu. I'm doing what needs to be done. By hook or by crew, I will get Sarah back. Nobody will get in my way. Understood? I'd like to know that I moved back home, so if you're free, we can catch up. Oh, Derek, that sounds lovely, but my schedule is just so packed. With... Oh, maybe later in the evening then? Talk soon. Okay, bye. Hello, Dad? I've moved back home, so you can come here and update me on the progress uh, of. Hello? You seem to be breaking up. Can't hear you. I said I've moved back home and... Yeah, you might want to move in somewhere with better signal, Dad. So you can hear me? Nope, can't hear a thing. Bye. Hello. Is that you, Maxine? This is Grandpa. How are you? Mommy, Mommy. Grandpa, Mommy's calling me. I need to go for my art class. Oh, oh, okay. Can you please let Mommy know? Bye-bye. So please, Fazina, try to talk some sense into him before he does something he regrets. Razali warned me that you might try to tell me all these things. Can't you leave my son alone? Why must you keep harassing him with all this false accusation? They're not false. Plus, he's already being investigated for dogs in Shira. If I were him, I'll be careful. So whose fault is that? You all are the ones who gang up against him. He's just trying to get his wife back. He says he's doing what's best for Zara. But he's hurting others. In the first place, Sarah should be ashamed of herself for the way that she's treating him. He loves her so much and he sacrificed so much for her. Any woman will be lucky to have him as a husband. Not bad. <laughs> I come by once in a while to water the plants and help finish the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> How to find this kind of friend. I also don't mind. <laughs> Cheers. Good deal, huh? Nice facilities, walking distance to MRT some more. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course you won't know. You know how to take MRT? 
Hey, I'm not that bad, okay? Actually, you're very, very bad. So how? <clears throat> you must be happy to go back home. At least in the hospital, there were actually people around. I spent the whole day today sitting in an empty house. Oh, yeah, what do you expect? Today is a working day. Not everybody is free to come and visit you. Oh, yes. My family gave me a very warm welcome indeed. Anyway, uh, you moved back home uh, because you want to be closer to Yoke, right? She's gone off to Manila. On purpose, my new. Give some stupid excuse. The one person I moved back home to spend time with is deliberately avoiding me. Just like everybody else. Aya, uh, you are always welcome here. I bet to be. I need to go. You should too. What's the hurry? Maxine's still in our class. I have to run some errands before picking Maxine up. How about you do errands another time then? Maybe you can spend more time together. I have to get dinner, collect James' dry cleaning, so... Don't worry. I'll help you with double dinner later. How about that? Just a little while more. My flight car is here. I'll text you, okay? I knew Rosalie was controlling. But to target Natasha like that, I didn't think he'll be so vengeful. And it's bad enough if he's responsible for all the harassment that Shira has been dealing with. If only I saw his true colours earlier, then I wouldn't help him. Ever since he moved out, he asked me to keep him updated on how Zara's doing. And you've been doing that? He said Zara was sick. Che, he manipulated you just like how he did with Zara. He lied to me about knowing the doctor. The psychiatrist she's been seeing? You mean he's in on it as well? I don't know for sure. Che, do you have any idea how betrayed Zara will feel if she knows about this? I did it for her own good. Now you're sounding just like Razali. This is between you and Zara. I'm not going to tell her anything. But only if you promise to stop helping Razali and come clean with Zara. What do you mean Ibu's been helping you? We're still close, you know. We talk almost every day. She keeps me updated with what's happening at home. You're such a liar. Ibu would never have... I know you're working with your good friend, Kenneth, on his computer game. I know Ibu hurt her hand the other day. Why are you telling me all this? I was hoping that she helped convince you to fix our marriage, but she hasn't been that useful. Point is, I want you to see the truth. Ibu doesn't trust you. She still treats you like a child. She has no respect for you. You're lying! One day is like a one day. One day you realize the only person in your life that you can trust is me. Everyone will just disappoint you. And when you realize it for yourself, you come back to me. For this. She is rushing some industry research that Charles asked for. Hmm. What a coincidence. Charles is the reason why we're having this meeting. I forwarded an email to the both of you. What is this? Some kind of brand report card? C+. Plus. Better than a D, I guess. Charles is concerned that the Shelley family's penchant for scandal is affecting the KSUH brand. Well, what does he want us to do? He knows us Shelleys or scandal magnets. Revitalize the brand. Right. Mainly the perception of Gen Zs and Millennials. Convince those guys that KSUH is cool, progressive and woke. Not conservative and stuffy. We could work with a branding agency. I show off the strong women we have in management. Self-praise is no praise, Shira. It's not my fault our website is full of old uncles in suits. Hey, I'm a big fan of strong women. Yeah, why don't you write something up and let's see.
We need to catch up on that builder contract. I know you're a big fan of Lo and Ang, okay, but somehow I find Lin and Boo to be more reliable. This is a small scale commercial property built. Okay, Lim and Boo are better at bigger, more complex projects. For this, we need attention to detail. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I just don't find Lo and Ang to be reliable. Let's just bring in both contractors for clarifications after they've submitted their proposals. That's just a waste of time. I just want the best team for the job. You, on the other hand, have too much faith in your friends. I can't stand it. Every customer I serve, I can't help but wonder what kind of funny things Vazali might have said to them on singles near you. Even worse, who knows what kind of funny thoughts they're thinking when they look at me. I think that guy just wants his nasi krabi. Don't worry. As long as none of them starts talking to you, just pretend they're regular customers, okay? They better be, or else they'll get a taste of my self-defense skills. <laughs> I think that customer just want a taste of his food. Go and serve him before he complains. Go. James, you know us. We are the worst, not talkers. Those guys at Lim and Boo only know how to talk. Oh, they talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Hey. You know I'm on your side here, guys. That's why I came to give you a heads up. And you know Lewis is concerned, just make sure you address it. Actually, why are you helping us? Uh? What's in it for you? Hey, when people offer you advice, just say thank you, cannot. I just want to work with people I trust, and I trust you guys. I know you never do anything to play me out. Oh, them. Ibu, is it true that you've been communicating with Razali? Because Rosali told me himself. I did it because he told me he cares about you. <sighs> Sarah, you should... Please, know. just stop echoing the crap that comes out of his mouth. Ibu, how do you expect me to trust you after this? I thought you were on my side. Look, Sarah, enjoy Ibu. Kak, please, you just, just stay out of this, okay? Ibu, so all this time you've been reporting everything to him? And no, it... It can't be so simple as just reporting because I know Razali and I, he's a schemer. So what else has he done, Ibu? I didn't know that the doctor, Dr. Fong, is his good friend. What? So... You and he... You tricked me into seeing that doctor? No! I really didn't know. you're even bothering with yet another gown, yo. We've got some lovely new designs out. Jessica, I want to talk to her. Do you really think we're going to make it to the lunch part of the wedding? I guess I wanted something to compliment the bridal bouquet. Hurry up, Jessica. Just put it on speaker or something. Oh, well, for God's sakes, Derek. Yo, your father wants to speak to you. Yo, you jolly well knew I was coming home. And yet you deliberately left. Not, not just the house, the country as well. Sorry, gotta go. Yo! What did I tell you? She gets her stubbornness from you. Come on, dinner's almost ready. You go, I'll eat here. You're no longer in the hospital, Terry. You don't have to eat in your bed anymore. Tell Laurie I'll be eating here. Suit yourself. Ananya, I'm almost done with the research. I'll email you, okay? Sure, thanks. Didn't realize you two were so chummy with each other. Oh, we found out earlier today that we both share some common interests. Do you now? Well, I should really get back to work. Excuse me. Do you really? 
really think we're gonna make it to the lunch part of the wedding. I guess I wanted something to compliment the bridal bouquet. Hurry up, Jessica. Just put a speaker or something. Oh, for God's sakes, Derek. Yo, your father wants to speak to you. Yo, you jolly well knew I was... Who's that so late? <laughs> Hi, Andy. Is it okay if I stay with you guys for a while? Uh, uh, of course, of course. Come here, come here. more than this interview is for us to convince KSUH we can do the job, not see if we can or not. Like that, why should don't go and see them? Maybe we shouldn't. Hey, if we want to grow, we have to do it. Hey, which part of we don't have enough people do you not understand? Easy, right? Hire part-timers, subcon. Are they reliable or not? We have to risk it. This is how the big companies do it. We are not a big company. And we won't become a big company if we don't do things differently. 